Great, so um, we are back with our series of vlogs. Um, again, chatting with uh, part of the Maitland team, um, Andre LaRue, who's the head of business development and client management through Africa. And joining on the call um, is Miles Osler, who heads up uh, client management from a South African perspective. So Andre, I suppose, <sighs> The next question is to you um, and what came up in a recent strategy session that we held with you is the need to um, kind of redefine Maitland as a business. Um, I'm sure it's been a whirlwind journey with Maitland um, kind of changing their core offering um, over the years um, and there's likely been a clash here and there over um, kind of, you know, what is the actual identity um, of Maitland as, as a business? So um, I suppose I've got two questions to you. In fact, um, how has your client data and how you've used that client data informed the need for those at the top to sit down and actually define who Maitland is today? Yeah, thanks, uh, Brendan. <laughs> it's actually been very simple. I the, when we started the journey with with Enlighten, uh, there were two elements to the the engagements that we had with clients that 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 that, that uh, Enlighten helped us with. With that is those specific dimensions, those five dimensions that Miles mentioned earlier, and then on top of it, there was quantitative qualitative data, really just the the verbatim scripts that we received and and we analysed, and we spent a lot of time specifically looking at those verbatim transcripts and what were the clients actually saying and what that what that came out at is we we saw ourselves historically as fund administrators we were back office and proud of it yeah and yet the more we read through those transcripts and the feedback we got the more it became clear that we were in fund services and once you start seeing yourself as a proper service organization, that engagement whole... becomes the key driver. We were often very, very cross that we would get things 99% right, but that 1% or even that 0.1% was wrong caused much debate and, and, and gnashing of teeth and wailing in our business. And yet we were doing just about everything right. And so we needed to talk to our clients more and start showing them that actually our, our qualitative, our quantitative data is good enough to, to demonstrate that we're actually doing way better than what they think. So it was really the qualitative data that we got out of all of those transcripts that allowed us to understand we're actually in a services business and we have to engage more and we need to find ways to uh, present our quality in ways that is accessible to the clients. And so, yeah, I guess it, it's about we see ourselves as a fund services business now. And so service then cascades all the ways down. And, and to the extent that in our recent uh, articulation of our strategy, one of the key elements is there it talks about a relentless focus on client. I mean, and that's now in, ingrained in our in our, our or our, our overall fund services strategy. Yeah, I mean, to your point, it's not just about the numbers, but actually what sits under that and um, the ability to kind of distill client or customer sentiment to such a degree. Um, that you can understand what sits under the number, and you know, that's really what drives thinking and strategy within an organization. Um, Absolutely. So, so Andre, how do you see this kind of really, the solidification of this understanding? How do you see it benefiting the company going forward? You know, being a fund well, services business. Look, I, 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 there's, there's a bit of an anecdote around a client who was using their own data to measure us okay. and were consistently telling us that we weren't particularly good uh, to the extent that we said, well, if we improve, will you pay us more? Will you give us a performance fee? Yeah. Uh, and without thinking, they said absolutely and agreed to a performance fee. 
Our only caveat was that you use our data. And once we started collecting the data and demonstrating the data back to them, which was unequivocal, unfortunately for them, they realized that they had to pay us the performance fees because our data was telling us and the client in an unequivocal way that we were performing to standard and in fact, in their case, above standard. And so what that told us is data around our performance is absolutely critical. Authentic data, regular data, unequivocal data is, is key. And then you add on top of that engagement, going back to the fun services component, yeah. and it really has been a recipe for success in our business. And, you know, we've now not only looking at, at client performance data, but internal data, and we use dashboards uh, relentlessly in the business, and all of a sudden we start seeing our, not only our operational performance improving, but our financial performance. And so this is, we, we've almost hit a perfect storm where our clients are engaging with, more with us, so that score is going up. Our operational data is unequivocal, and our financial performance is going up. And what does that mean for staff? It means careers, it means uh, bonuses, it means increases, it means longevity. And for our clients, it means they, they, they can only engage with us about new stuff, not about our poor performance, which they didn't really know other than the last error that we, we made. Sure. And Brendan, I've just, let me just quickly add to what Andre's saying there. I mean, we, we, we don't make this up in a vacuum. This isn't airy-fairy stuff. I mean, the, that data that, that we benchmarked to for a particular client that landed up paying us um, huge amounts of money in performance fees was benchmarked to the five biggest global custodial banks in the UK and Europe. And mm -hmm. we performed incredibly well vis-a-vis -vis that. And we, yeah. and we had the data to demonstrate that. That's, that's incredible. Miles, Andre, thanks very much. Um, for those who are watching, if you would like to add any of your comments or further feedback um, to either one of the team um, at Maitland or at Enlightened CX, um, please feel free to do so in the link below. Thanks very much.